Hi guys, and welcome to a new tutorial. So in this one, we're not actually going to be making anything new. Um, I'm going to run through the default sky sphere and show you guys how we can change the one that's provided by Unreal, um, because it's something that by default you can't really change much of. Um, now the reason I'm doing this is because when I first started in Unreal some few years ago, um, I really wanted to change the sky because I don't like the fact that it's always so bright and sunny and I couldn't do it and it wasn't something that I could just um, change so I had to look it up and some of it's a little bit complex but it's it's doable. Um, so I'm going to show you guys like the basics of changing this sky dome. So if we select the, the sky sphere and you can do so, so if we click up, you can do so by just clicking the sky and normally you'll get the sky sphere. If not, you can go to your world outliner and actually just click it up here. Now you'll notice that there's not much that we can change. So under the default, we can change the sun brightness. We can make the sun brighter. Um, we can change cloud speed so that these clouds will spin a lot faster, which is a bit bizarre, as you can see. We can change the cloud opacity so that they're a bit more visible so there's more cloud and we can change star brightness but you're probably not going to be able to see this during the daytime because the sky is too bright we can't really change much else we can't change the sun height the horizon fall off we can't really see and we can't change any of the coloring now the reason we're doing this is uh, that we can't do that rather is because the settings are being overwritten by this light so this light source here this cheeky little fellow, there he is, is stopping us from changing our sky sphere. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave him here. We're not going to delete him. We like this guy. He's an, he's he's nice. We don't want to get rid of light because, you know, light's important. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to just say, you know, you're, you're providing us with a lot of light, but we, we don't need you to control the sky for us as well. We'll, we'll deal with the sky. So with the sky selected, if you head to the default, you'll notice that we have Directional, uh, directional light actor here, and it's set to light source, which is this guy. We can give it another light if we wanted, but it's this guy by default. So this little yellow arrow here will remove anything that's plugged in. So if we click this, it will send it back to default, which is none. So now we don't have anything overriding this. So if I say go to the sun height, we can move the sun. So we have one being midday or noon and negative one being midnight at which point the sun will be under the ground uh, but you won't see that hee hee cheeky sun um, but this is where we can get our stars and we can add some some brightness to these you know blow up the universe poo um, so we'll just put that back really quick one thing that we still can't change though is the colors we can we can move the sliders around so we can say yeah i want this purple but nothing's going to change here so I'll just undo that. And the reason that's not going to change is because under default, we have this preset, colors determined by sun position. If we turn this off, you'll notice immediately we've got a different change because the sun's position has a different set of colors from the default sliders here. So now that we have this um, unticked, we can say, go into the zenith color and we can be a little bit more insane about it. We can say, you know what, I want a green sky. What about the horizon? What if the horizon's like red? And we have a red horizon. But you know what? Maybe I want some different clouds. Maybe I want the clouds to be pink. Yeah, pink clouds. And what if I want an overall color just added to the top as well? Let's give this a bit of a bit of a yellow tint over the top. We can do that. We can change some other things as well, like the horizon fall off. So how quickly the uh, the colors blend together. You see that there? And we still have control over our sun height. So we can say, you know what? I want these colors, but now it's nighttime. But these are a bit bright for nighttime. So let's, let's turn down the green. And I can see some stars coming through. So there we go. Some stars and some really crazy colors in our sky. And of course, we can complement this by just taking our light and just changing our intensity of our light so that we can we can match the sky. The sky's got like a greenness to it so we're gonna have some some green light 
just turn it up ever so slightly. Cause, yeah, there we go. So that's how we can change all of our defaults on the skybox that's provided by Unreal. Now, this is a, a mad selection of colors. It kind of looks like a, a suite or something. Um, I wouldn't use colors like that. This is just an extreme example to show you guys what we can what we can do with this guy. Um, so there you go. You've had a quick rundown of the the basic default sky sphere and how you can use that. Um, I hope some guys find that useful, um, and I shall see you next time.